Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Complex Ball. Welcome back to another video. And today I'll be telling you guys on how to make the best finisher build there is out there. This finisher build can play defense and it can finish at the round. So if you guys want to learn how to make this build, stay tuned and watch the whole video. And if you guys really support me, drop a like and subscribe for me and turn on post notifications so whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Without further ado, man, y'all enjoy this video. To make this finisher build, the position will be small for right handed and you want to pick the red and blue pie chart. So pick the red and blue pie chart for finishing and defensive and pick the pick the equal the equal um physical profile, the balance one. And first thing you want to do is upgrade your close shot, upgrade your driving layup max, driving dunk max, standing dunk max. And go to your defense. Now on your defense, you can upgrade everything. Upgrade every single last thing on your defense. Steal, block, offensive rebound, lateral quickness, perimeter defense, and last but not least, interior defense. Now you're gonna have seven playmaking backs. So you wanna turn up your pass accuracy and your ball handle, max that out. You will get seven playmaking badges. And now now everything's max you have you have seven left so you can put it on anything you want no actually you want to put this to a 51 so you can get the 20 finishing badges so once you get that to 20 you will have two left and you now you could put it anywhere you want i just put it on my mid range even though we're not focusing about shooting body type it really doesn't matter but to make your player look big i pick built and then height six now. So now you see our driving dunk goes down to 80, 87, but we still get contact dunks. Don't worry. And our standing dunk goes up to an 88, goes up 13. We're not worried about the shooting at all. And our and we're not worried about playmaking that much either. So our defense goes up in the in the paint, but in the perimeter is kind of low. So now you want to put your weight at 239, which will give you a 92 strength. So, and you see your interior defense will also go up. And you want to put max wingspan. See, once you put max wingspan, it takes down your strength, but that really doesn't matter. But look at your block, an 89 block. Imagine what would it be when you go to a 99. Now, you get to pick any takeover. If you want, you can pick the log takeover, but if you want to have fun with your finisher, pick the slashing takeover. It's the most recommended. Slashers receive an extra boost to finishing at the rim in traffic and more effective gathers to get past the defense. So you want to pick the slasher takeover. And yes, now says you have built a finisher. So now you want to, uh, now you want to test build. Let me show you what that is I put on my finisher. And now my finisher is a 97 and I got his badges. So, this really doesn't matter. Now, the badges. What I put when I play twos is right here. I put lobster finisher, mostly because I go for rep. Always got to put contact finisher. Neat fancy forward. Fancy forward call of fame. It gives you a better chance to make like hop steps. This is for hop steps. And silly finisher also helps you with hop steps reverse dunks and all of that so now you can get one more badge and i'll put it on relentless finisher so i can contact when i'm tired or if you want you could put gold silver relentless and silver acrobat but i really don't see acrobat pop up that much so i click gold i mean hall of fame relentless and 
for a shooting badge, I just put volume shooter, but it really doesn't matter. I put quick drop if you want. I just really doesn't matter. Now going to the playmaking. So the playmaking is important. You need to put bailout so you can get out of any bailout situation. You want bailout on silver and you want unpluckable on silver, which leaves you with two left and three left and I put quick first step on gold. This is how I rock out my um my playmaking back. Now defense. Everybody know defense wins the games. So I put my brick wall on gold and no none of that. And then I put intimidate Hall of Fame. You need that. Rebound, chase the Hall of Fame. That's a and win protect the Hall of Fame. Also I put moving truck on Hall of Fame so I don't get babies. But now these are just essentials. Now you can just put whatever you want. And I put what else do I put? I put pogo stick on gold so I can jump. Or like sometimes I move this around and that just depending on what I'm playing. So I usually run this up, Pogo State Hall of Fame and moving truck go. And that's how I run my badges. So go right here. That's how you run my my badges.